Well, howdy, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today's a little interesting day. I'm building a little tra trail on the property here, and I've got a big rock that's sticking up out of the ground, and I needed to hammer it. And I could have brought a generator, but why not just stick one of my batteries into the Prius <laughs> with my new Bosch chipping hammer and chip away at the thing. And you can see it's working. I wish I had a camera person today, but I think I can show you what I need to show you just right here, right now, by myself. There's the battery. Yep. And this is that 3000 watt inverter that I got. I've shown you this in another video that allows me to drain this battery down when I need to. But in this case, it gives me a generator. Now, this battery holds 14 kilowatt hours of stored energy. And right now it's at about 70% of its capacity. And this big hammer uses about 800 watts with the losses from the inverter. So if you do the math, I could work two days on this rock with a full battery. Even with a two thirds full battery, I could work all day with this thing and not run that battery out. And I don't have to fool with a generator and gasoline and all that mess. And I needed to transport this battery over here anyway because the solar shed's over there from my friend and it's getting real close. And I'm starting to think I need to be bringing batteries over here and set it up. So let's see how well this works. You can see I've already had a little success this morning in about 10 minutes making little rocks out of a big one. And I had some concern, not too much, that this inverter wouldn't want to start this machine up, but it does. It is breaking down. breaking up big rocks into little rocks, but I just wanted to let you see that when you build these batteries like this, there's some flexibility in them. This battery this morning, I just rolled it out onto the sidewalk, used my tractor to lift it up into the back of the car, and I'll use the tractor over here to unload it in front of the solar shed and roll it in. And it's easily charged with a power supply I could charge it back up this evening and be ready for the next day. I could use this every day at work if I wanted to, if I had a job out there where you normally would have a, a generator, I could just use one of these. I have quite a few of them. So I'm kind of excited about this. I think that some of my construction friends are probably gonna see this and they're gonna want me to build batteries for them, but I'm just gonna point them to the YouTube video because y'all and me, we know how to do this stuff now. So let's do it. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. This was a short one. 
So all y'all that say my videos are too long, this one's for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>